Hello students, my name is Prerna and I am your EVS teacher. And today from your EVS book, Enviro, we are going to be reading chapter number 12. So in the previous chapter, in chapter number 11, we uh, learned about animals around us. Now in chapter number 12, we are going to learn about plants around us. So let us start learning about plants around us. All right. Okay, so first you can see that there is a tree which is given here and the parts of a tree are mentioned. So you see these are the leaves of the plant, this is the fruit, these are the branches of the tree and then you have the trunk and these are the roots of the plant and it is a stem which carries water to the leaves and it stores food. Plants grow everywhere. Like animals, plants are living things. Plants do not move but they grow. There are many kinds of plants. Like we studied about different kinds of animals, now we are going to study about different kinds of plants. Some parts of the plant grow above the ground and some grow underground. Some plants are big and some are small. Plants need sunlight, air, water and soil. So like for us, food includes what? Vegetables, juices, fruits. So the food that a plant needs to grow is a combination of sunlight, air, water and soil. Leaves make food for the plant using sunlight. And now we talk about uses of plant. See, like here we've talked about the fact that some parts of the plant grow above the ground and there are some which grow underground. So looking at this diagram, what are the plants that are, uh, what are the parts of a plant that are going, uh, growing above the ground? The leaves, the fruit, the branches. And what part is uh, there are the under, underground. It is the roots of the trees. Alright. Now we talk about what are the uses of plants. Plants are very useful to us. We cannot live without plants. Plants give us so many things. It gives us food, oil, drinks, medicines, fibers, wood, paper, gum, rubber, perfume, and most importantly, pure air. All right. So now first we talk about food. What are the different kind of foods that we get from plant? We eat various parts of plants. Cereal and pulses are seeds and they are essential part of our food. Roots, stems, leaves and fruits are, or of some plants are eaten as vegetables and sugar is made from sugar cane and sugar beet. So like carrot, it's not really a plant, it's a root, right? Then sugar cane, which the stem of the sugar cane is eaten. Spinach, that is the leaf of the plant and tomato, which is not a vegetable. In fact, it is a fruit, all right? And we eat them as food. And then you have a set of fruits which are given here uh, and we mostly drink juices of the grapes, apple and then walnut eaten as a dry fruit and then coconut which is also part of dry food. So you have fleshy fruits like apple and mango. You have juicy fruits like grapes and pineapple and then you have dry fruits. Alright. Now you have oil and drinks. We get cooking oil from groundnuts and coconuts and from mustard and sunflower seeds. So how from plants we also get cooking oil. Cocoa beans, tea leaves and coffee beans are used for making drinks. They are used for making coffee or 
uh, tea. Cocoa beans are used in making chocolate and cola. Now the other very important usage of plants is the medicines like neem, the most important plant. So pl medicines are made from plants like neem, poppy, eucalyptus, tulsi and garlic. In fact, you know, in, uh, in some parts of India, people have this habit of including tulsi in their maybe tea or maybe, you know, as a part of their diet. Why? Because it helps you boost your immunity. It helps you build up your immunity. But you should never ever pluck the plants. All right. Unnecessarily, you should never ever chew that. Fibers and wood. Cotton yields fibers for cloth. Jute and coconut yield fibers are used to make sacks, ropes and mats. Like you might have seen jute mat or a jute bag in your house. How is it made? From a jute plant. Things like doors, chairs, tables are made from wood. So see, trees are also helpful for us in making the furniture of the house. And villagers, they also use wood as a fuel. The other thing that we get from plants include paper, gum and rubber. Paper is made from bamboo and pine trees. Gum is made from the juice of acacia stem. And rubber is made from the white milk of the rubber tree. So, see, these are the different plants. A bamboo tree, paper is made then acacia uh, plant through which we make the gum and then the rubber tree. Decoration scents and perfume. We decorate our homes with flowers and leaves. Scents and perfumes are also made from flowers. And protection, shade, fodder and manure. This is another very important usage of plant. We grow thorny plants as hedges. Umbrella type trees give us shade. Grass and leaves and branches are eaten by animals and waste part of the plants are used as a as manure. And most importantly, pure air. All the more plants make the air pure, which we breathe. We should grow plants to keep the air pure. All right. Now, how do you take care of plants? First is water plants regularly. We must not let them die. You should not put indoor plants out in the sun for too long because what happens? Then the plant will die. You should not encourage cutting down of trees and you should plant a lot of trees. And not step on the flower beds while walking in the garden because this way you will destroy the flowers. And you should, even in the park, maybe you can give uh, fertilizer or water but under the guidance of maybe a gardener or your parents. All right. So see, these pictures are telling you what you must do and what you should not do with the plants. So there's a small activity which all of you can do, which I started doing when I was about, I think, eight years of age. On my birthday every year, I plant a tree. So imagine like how many trees I would have planted till now. What are you doing in this way? You are contributing to the environment. You're making the nature all the more beautiful. All right. So keep on planting trees. Thank you so 